perfect. So confusing, mother. Who wrote all this? Tell you. Hmm. First, first Guruji's class. Sorry for all that. First, first Guruji's class is the existence, that which is happening now. As we said, the possibility of not understanding the subject matter always exists because of a certain inability to understand or of a certain perception of your pre-existing knowledge. There is a non-apprehension. You do not understand. From that not understanding of that what was said or what is being said arises a unique version of your own. And then you become the Mahaguru propagating that version to everybody else. Now, what is the solution to that? The solution to that is once you understand <clears throat> what was said, which is the source, when the source is understood, perceived or apprehended, there is no further non-apprehension nor the misapprehension. You have understood, you have perceived, you have apprehended the truth as it is. That was the first example. Then Chatterjee and Benerjee and Mukherjee, I leave it to you. There's so much confusion in the example itself. You were supposed to go and receive Chatterjee, but you mistake it to be Banerjee or Mukherjee. But the moment you get hold of Chatterjee, there is no more Mukherjee or Banerjee. The rope is the reality. The non-understanding of the rope brings about a misunderstanding of the snake. The moment you have the knowledge of the rope, there is no more the snake. The snake disappears. The delusion and the illusory perception dies. The verse talks about the post. When you don't see the post, you see a ghost. When the post is perceived, the ghost disappears. Similarly, what is the existence? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. What is the existence from the standpoint of the great masters? The very classical statement, the masters throughout the Shastras, who have experienced the truth, say, Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithya. This is the truth. From whose point of view? From the standpoint of the men of realization. Of those who attain that self, they say, Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithya. Brahman alone is the reality. The world that you experience is a, is a Mithya. It's an illusion. It's not real. So the reality at all times is Brahman. Whether you agree or not. In fact, the standard, do you know what is the definition of the reality that fits into this? In fact, not in the context. Do you know what is the definition of reality? No, it's not trying to make you philosophers here, but just trying to understand how we go about coming to a conclusion. What is the definition of reality? Let me ask beginning with Badriji. Bolie Badriji, what is the definition of reality? I was hoping you would skip me, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See, the <laughs> thought I could, I, I could read that thought and I caught you. If only you didn't have the thought, you could have saved, you know. <laughs> um, reality is that overall perception of mind which fits in with my worldview, with, with my with, with my observations, with my memories, with with my, what my intellect determines. That is... Madhuriji, if I, I'll have to in, uh, just interrupt you here. See, I'm asking the question on the statement which the Shastras say, Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithya. 
Okay. Right. right. Okay. The Brahman alone is real. Right. Now, how do they say? How do we see? It's from their understanding, isn't it? That's right. their experience, right. you may say. But right. how do I come to rationale of that? declaration of the masters when they say brahman alone is real what is the definition of reality in order to understand that statement um the way i see it is if i start looking at what i think is real and i then discover that what i think is real is not okay that it has see there, there has to be some uh, criteria to declare something as real. It has to be uh, omnipresent. It has to be uh, eternal. And it it has to be, um, it, it has to be in sync with our consciousness. And if these criteria are not met, then we can progressively negate what we now considered to be real, and then what remains? What remains is what the uh, shastras are saying. But this, it's a, it's what you call climbing, climbing the mountain. It's it has to be a progressive realization of what is not real to then finally uh, arrive at what is real. I, I mean, that's I don't know whether I've answered your question. But. but the only thing is, you have left with so much information we have to process. You have helped us and yet not helped us. <laughs> you have answered yet you have left us with where where it is. You actually you have mentioned it uh, in the answer, but if 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 only we could get that aspect out clearly, it it answers it. In fact, uh, uh, in very nice to see that uh, Somya Ma has actually spelt it out there. She said that which persists. Which is what you said is eternal, yes. isn't it? You said that which is eternal. So the test of reality is that which persists, that which exists, that which is eternal, that which exists in all periods of time. This is the standard test we are we are we are told to examine it. Right. So if we put wonderful Badriji, so if we put Let's put all our experiences to test. Sai, let's say that, that when you go to sleep, you go to deep sleep. You have sometimes dreamless sleep, no? You're very rare, but yes, Hari Om Guru, yes. <laughs> I, I knew that. I knew that was coming. That's the reason I asked, clarified. Okay. Whenever you have that deep sleep, or the more frequent dream sleep, is the dream or deep sleep real? Yeah, it seems real till that uh, till we wake up. Actually, we yeah we till we wake up, it is very real. Means yes. as long as you are in that experience, is very real, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Now let's put the deep sleep or the dream to the test of reality. The test. The, the, the acid test of something which is real is it should exist in the past, it should exist in the present, it should exist in the future. future yes. So, when did the dream exist for you? In the while I was asleep. Why was it? When, were, when was that? Yesterday night, let us say. Yesterday night. Uh, it was there. Yeah. I'll come back to you another half an hour. Then I'll have to ask you, you may say, sorry, sir, I just came out of it a few minutes ago, you will say, you know, uh, hopefully not, but correctly so, you were asleep the previous night. Yes. It existed then very much real. Does it exist now? No, but my only doubt is sometimes the memories exist, right? We, no, we feel that the, the look of you, I think it's, it's little existing. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, yesterday they, yeah. nobody told you the dress code for the class, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, sir. <laughs> I, I can take all the liberty with you. You're like my younger brother, you know. <laughs> huh? So the the dream was very real to you. Then yes. it is not real to you. 
when you go back to sleep tonight you may go into another dream it yeah. becomes a dream world becomes a real isn't it yeah which is now are you all able to hear me yes yes okay because there was suddenly something that got prompted on my screen that's unstable okay the internet yes. is unstable but if you are able to get the transmission isn't it all yes. right so what i'm just trying to conclude is the the dream existed yesterday night it it doesn't exist now it will exist in the future which is later tonight therefore you can call the dream world as unreal unreal full stop simple conclusion huh now i will have to go to sushma ji in a long time i haven't connected with sushma ma sushma ma can you put the waking world also to test ma small test are you, are you asking me guru ji yes ma asking you ma can i have the question again the question is as if you had just followed we just rationally concluded that the dream existed yesterday night it will certainly exist tonight it doesn't exist now so there is a period the dream doesn't exist therefore we conclude the dream world is unreal are you with me on that <clears throat> yes now can we put the waking world also to a similar test you may not agree with me or you may not be convinced that i can't convince but at least let's put to test rationally what's the rational argument you can give to the waking world wake waking world seems real to us but it keeps changing what is at present what i feel is uh, real <clears throat> after two hours it may not be real for me so that is all the time changing it's not the same all the time that that you are talking as you are in that state isn't it yeah while you are still awake uh, let's say you are he hearing some news of something and very soon in the media you come to know that news was fake news oh what i thought was real is no more real now isn't it that's what you're saying yeah. Yeah. but if we take the entire waking state itself did the waking state exist for you when you were dreaming yesterday night or you were in dreamless sleep no i think the waking state is always changing it's not all the same no no i am not talking of the 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 change the waking world goes into but when you are asleep do you have access to the waking world when you are in deep sleep no so i can we say that the waking world doesn't exist in the dream state when i'm asleep it doesn't even in the it dream doesn't. world it doesn't exist deep sleep it doesn't exist perfect now does the waking world exist now to you is it very real well whatever is happening like i'm listening to you i feel it's real at Correct. the moment yeah at the moment this is very real isn't it yeah. so as long as you are awake this solid waking world is real to me the house yeah. you're living in is very real to you but the house you're living in doesn't exist when you go to sleep tonight because you will be in an imaginary world or which is a very real world to the dreamer a dreamer has a dreamer's family a dreamer's home a dreamer's life the, the world you are living in doesn't exist so if we come to the same rational conclusion what will be the rational conclusion so is the waking world any more real than the dream Mm -hmm. now we are going based on the definition it should exist in the past exist in the present exist in the future the waking world only exists now it didn't exist in the past it will not exist it, in the future it only, only at present i feel it's correct well, therefore not in the past but not in the future correct therefore what would you say ma then it is not real if it it is not there all the time i wanted it to come from your you are from you that means the shastras are saying please think this way that means the waking world also is no more real than the dream the problem is we dismiss the dream as unreal 
but we never ever hold the waking experience in that same light and see that the waking world also is unreal because it yes. doesn't exist at all periods of time it doesn't exist with you for 24 hours in a day so what are you talking eight hours 10 hours in the day doesn't exist for you so how can you hold to the argument that this is real and the dream is unreal this is the argument the masters are telling us the waking world also is no more real than the dream if you think the dream is unreal they're saying the same waking world which you think is real is also unreal my dear therefore they give us a direction to think and say brahma satyam jagat mithya the world is an illusion what is reality is brahman now let's put brahman to test we have put to test the dream we have put to test the deep sleep we have put to test the waking world now let me ask ashrama we will put brahman also to put test now you can't escape by putting namaskaram to me ashrama i am first of all very angry with you you know why you know why you can you can't be doing signing and i am not going to stop please give access ma ashama please can you unmute yourself salam so, see you put your lovely kitchen is behind you whenever i look at you i feel hungry what is this it's a comfortable place to sit in but i am very uncomfortable sitting here what do i do then tell me must make a trip to bangalore ha wo to that is that bangalore i'm only going to come and stay with you that's all i'm not going anywhere with our samasta parivar yes samasta parivar uh, that i don't know but i will come so sweet of you we will certainly come in fact you should come the whole parivar is here we are all one parivar ma now i want to ask this question let's put brahman to the same test does it exist at all periods of time yes is no, the creator no. how do don't just say yes but how do you say brahman existed in the deep sleep brahman existed in the waking the dream state brahman should exist in the deep sleep state now in the waking state as well it should exist in all three states which is the past the present the future how do you say brahman exists okay <laughs> but i'm only trying to come to an understanding how do we say that brahman exists ji bhi kera karo you are expected to repeat the question before you answer not just you everybody ah huh? so that we are very clear what is the question sir the brahman is brahman a, what brahman about brahman is, brahman is the is the is the one which is the exists all the time but this body is not exists all the time the body is the, you know we live the body they say body is left the body is not the once the body is left this whole universe that whatever we are saying that is also garo. right i am i am sitting with you in the car let's say you are learning driving i am teaching you driving i am the driving instructor there right. is a lane imagine there are three lanes four lanes on a highway right my job is to make sure that you keep to that lane right so i'll have to keep bringing you back to the lane sir yeah right so the lane we are in is we are trying to establish how do we say brahman exists in the past present future the no. past is the dream the present is the waking the future is deep sleep explain in this context yeah see when you go to a deep sleep mm -hmm. a, 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 a dream when it comes Correct. So yes. there, I I find in two minutes and five minutes, I see that you know I have so many children, so many the marriage is taking place, and the they become uh, is all you know it is twenty uh, years, fifty years. Uh, I see in the dream, which when I open up, you know everything is just in two minutes. What I dream is uh, non-existence. 
Now, going by what you said so far, how does that prove the existence of Brahman in the dream? You are saying, I just slept for two minutes, but in that two minutes, I have had 20 years of experience. But how does that prove existence of Brahman? Brahman, Brahman is uh, like a Sakshi. It is uh, uh, always there, whether it's a dream or existence, that is there. But we don't, uh, as a body conscious, we don't uh, recognize that this is uh, uh, some. Where I say this is my hand, my head, my leg. This is all. This body is always. We think that this is the existing, but uh, consciously we understand that this is not. Me, something else is there. That is the what Brahman is the existing. So this hand is not uh, after some time when it cuts, it just goes away. Head also the same. The we don't uh, uh, really knowingly we don't understand that knowingly. That I will only give you temporary license, permanent license, long time to go. <laughs> temporary license only I'm giving. That also under a lot of supervision. Permanent license, long, long time, long time. So, uh, the existing is only Atman. Uh, the correct. We are trying Atman. to, we are trying to give ourselves an understanding right. to understand how the master say Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithya. Hmm. Okay. No, no. I, I, I understand. I, I, I relate with you. But we are trying to expand the concept. Therefore, this deliberation. Okay, Ji. Wonderful. Let me let me engage others. Padminima, give me, tell me how you can prove that Brahman exists in the past, in the present, in the future. According to my understanding, it is that which uh, uh, enables us to realize that we were sleeping, we were dreaming, and we were also in deep sleep. And now when we are awake also, we are able to uh, recollect or uh, see that we were passing through all the three states and that we are also aware of it. It's so, uh, it is that which enables us to realize all these things. So it should be real. Bish. <sighs> Outstanding. This is what I was looking at. That, how do we say that the Brahman existed in all the three states? Brahman is that which enables you to very, it's that which enables you to experience itself. So without the Brahman, I would not have known that I have slept. Without the Brahman enlivening that experience, I would not have experienced the dream. Without Brahman enlivening, I wouldn't have dreamt nor deep sleep nor the waking experience. So Brahman is that which enables me to experience. If it's that which enables me to experience, the Brahman has certainly has to be there, isn't it? Because Brahman is that very enlivening force without which nothing happens. It is that like the, it's like, you know, the light is on, the fan is on, the system is on. What is it that is understood here? What is it that is understood? What's understood is there has to be the electricity that has to enliven all these gadgets. Without the electricity enlivening this computer, the computer can't function what it is supposed to function. Without the electricity enlivening the light, the light, the bulb can't glow. Without the electricity enlivening the air condition, the room can't be air conditioned. Similarly, without the Brahman being there, you can't experience the waking dream or deep sleep. So Brahman exists in the sleep. Brahman exists now. Brahman exists in the future. And also interestingly, Brahman exists in the waking state, dream state, deep sleep state. Brahman also exists in the fourth state, the Turiya. Not only it exists in all the three states, it exists in the fourth. This is the language the Shastras have used. Why do they call it the fourth? Because you have three states of experiences. The waking, dream, deep sleep. Since you know one, two, three, they call it the fourth. So Brahman exists in the fourth. The waking state only exists in one state. It doesn't exist in Turiya. 
dream doesn't exist in Turiya. Deep sleep doesn't exist in Turiya. Brahman exists. Therefore, the Brahman is real. This is the logical argument you give to understand what they are saying. It's not simply to parrot, oh, Brahma, Satyam, Jagat, Mithya. That way, that anybody can parrot. But in the argument, you should put it. No. Sethuji, sorry, you wanted to say something? You, you want to, you have anything to comment, sir? No, no, no. She told the same thing. I just wanted to say in the uh, dream, we, we are uh, not aware of our identity. And uh, when we wake up, we have a feeling that I had good sleep. The fact that I, that I is uh, Brahman reality. That which enables you to experience, isn't it? We that call it I, I, but that I, we, in, in the waking, in the normal, we think it is body. When we come to know it is not body, mind, intellect. Uh, still we have a feeling I had good sleep. Who is that I is the, but Brahman? It is the, the consciousness. It is the awareness. It's the Brahman. Correct. It's a very, very powerful argument. Eh? Very powerful thought. If you are able to hold on to it. All right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Uh, Hariji. I would compare a dead body with a living body. The dead body cannot uh, dream. The dead body cannot... Uh, it is a permanent uh, sleep. Only when the touch of life goes through that body, we are able to dream, we are able to wake, and we are able to sleep. Which means in all these three states that life-giving force is the main thing yeah. which makes us aware of it. Correct. Otherwise, the dead body also should be able to do it. But uh, logically speaking, Brahman is there in the dead body also, no? Yeah, the, it is. that is only existence. No? Such, there is no chit. That is there, yes. But it is existing. Yes. Brahman is there. It is a life-giving force. It's there. Yeah, but there is no uh, subtle body. Body, right? yeah, that is out of the context of the discussion. But since you, yeah. uh, but it's very much there, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, Sai. I think you have a, a pertinent comment. Uh, yeah. Yes, Guruji. Uh, uh, my only question is like, uh, we don't know what I dreamt, let's say some weeks back, but the moment I wake up, I have a context and a persistent, uh, what do you call? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm able to recall everything, right? I mean, I, I can, how I can put it in words, but a dream is lost. It is like uh, temporary and it most of the times we uh, in, it's not stored in our memory. We, at the max, we may feel that we had a bad dream. That's it. We don't know the exact details of it. However, mm. this the other state is more with us all the time. So, what is spell it out? No, what's other state? The waking state is. It's like following us as a shadow all the time. The dream is lost. So, uh, never mind. The, don't never mind. You can say dream. Dream doesn't haunt me, but the waking state is haunting me. <laughs> uh, you can, you are not wrong to say that. The problems in the waking state continue to keep coming back again and again. It's not that after I wake up from the sleep, suddenly all my problems of the waking state goes. Right. Oh, I had acidic problem before sleeping. After I wake up, all acidity gone because it's a different state. No, no. Everything in the waking state seems to have a continuity. Yes. Continuity. It exactly... You can't say it continues where it left because as Shushma Ma said, everything is changing. I slept yesterday night at 9 o'clock in the evening. When I wake up this morning, it's 4 a.m. 9 a.m. is not, 9 p.m. is not 4 a.m. It's changed. It's a different world, isn't it? So you can't say it's the same world I've got into. I remember, you know, uh, in 19... Uh, when, when was it that this... Uh, 
this twin uh, world trade center 2001 oh 2001 you know i remember you know who disclosed to me the the world trade center was attacked the two twin towers isn't it in new york the world trade center they were called my milkman you know i remember the milkman knocked at the door and we don't we don't want to leave the milk lying lying on the thing because you know it's this cat so they come and uh, tear it open you know so whenever it's delivered i remember i used to go and pick it up so at this fiveish that that fellow used to come and when the moment he knocked he didn't hit knock at the door his i could hear his bike sound and because uh, i was up anyway so i would immediately go and pick it up and he said what is it sir you are still sleeping he thought i was sleeping said, america is under attack america is under attack wake up wake up and see i said what is he saying then went and saw it was all over the news you know so that which which didn't exist when i slept when i woke up america went to war thereafter america and attack so the question what sa you are asking is there is no continuity in the dream it ends it begins and ends in the dream but the waking world seems to be continuity therefore your argument is i think the waking world is real the dream is not real is it the conclusion kada yeah i don't yeah I, at least i am not worried about a bad dream uh, yeah but you are worried about the the continuity of the experiences of the week, because this seems to be far more real yes yes ha, okay very pertinent question now let me open up the floor how anybody out there can 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 argue on this point and prove sai wrong he saying the waking world seems to be more real than the dream and earlier we said just because the waking world seems to exist and persist more than the dream you can't claim the waking world to be any more real how do you argue this badri ji you are in two waking states one let's say yesterday's waking state and one today's waking state they are completely different the sun is not in the same position the earth is not in the same position the uh, the uh, the rivers have flown from mountains to the ocean everything has changed so in the do you seem to think that there is continuity there is change so if you one of the attribute one of the ways of describing brahman is if it alone is then it has to be unchanging because change means there is a previous brahman and there is a next brahman so so logically brahman should not have change in it and therefore since our waking world is full of change it cannot be real like brahman it has to be uh, unreal because change change means you are negating a previous state and getting into a next state so something is being negated the previous state is being negated and that is the hallmark of change any change right you have a very valid point inside does the answer does it help you to ponder further yes yeah definitely yes uh, it is changing hmm one more perspective we are getting from our uh, brilliant shiva hmm so long as sir chapandi sir what is it you are saying yeah there are, there are certain things which are for sure continues you cannot say it, it doesn't you continue to live in your home you continue to pay your mortgages it is all real yeah if we cannot escape that first thing am i am i audible yeah very audible okay i change my laptop i took my daughter's laptop so just want to check yeah 
that is also change yeah. what was yes. there it's not the same thing now it's change illiya but there is a continuity in that enna continuity i am not the same fellow i have to pay speaking. that till i pay till i pay uh-huh. it is there till i live in this house i own it is there not a continuity am i disowning my house when i live in my house and am i not taking care of my house when i live in uh, should i not take care of my body when i live in this body there is a continuity no no there see, is a presence are, that, that 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 which which is in fact looks like you are just enhancing sai's question than answering it you are elucidating it further saying because there is a continuity my body is real the world i'm living in is real my home is real if i have got a mortgage is very much real everything is is a reality for me so you are actually seeking answers so you are in the sai's party you know sai you looks like you have created a party for yourself you have got uh, people uh, supporting you also now hmm gayatri ma be beware it will come a hit like avalanche what gayatri ma says is going to come a hit like an avalanche bhayama irkanak yes solunga ma yeah uh, first thing you know the thoughts and other things what we get yesterday or you know a few days back when we think the thought process itself changes what we had an idea a few days back changes today and similarly it can be yesterday also we must have had some tiff with somebody the next day itself we may change our opinion so what was yesterday we can never be today that is my even the thought process of the intellect or even bodily changes everything keeps changing instead of seeing the world outside it is saying you can see within yourself how you are a changing yourself so please conclude conclude the argument it is definitely that the waking state is also changing definitely because what i thought yesterday i am not the same person today therefore if yesterday if not yesterday at least 6 7 months or 1 year back how wise i was and how wise i am that itself has changed the ladder so is we can is it gone gone no no just one clarification is it gone up or gone down no it's going up only in spirituality and... you don't come down oh sorry i didn't know that ma it's it's news to me <laughs> no no i i i i i agree with you what you're saying is that uh, everything is subjected to dynamic change in fact when you were to call any the government department to ask what is the time what's the current time if you were to call there's a pre recorded announcement that is announcing the time and every time you call they say at the time of calling the time was they never say time is because it's changed it's moved on it is 6:46 32 seconds by the time i call by the time i got the message it's 6:46 52 seconds 20 seconds has passed by so it is not it is not the same the world is in a constant change the board everything is going through this metamorphic changes of growth disease decay death it is it is changing so anything that is changing is not it can't be given a status of permanency or reality just because your experiences are far more continuous you can't claim that to be any more real than the dream you are, what you are claiming is because you're talking from a relative standpoint is exactly the same experience the dreamer also gives when a dreamer wakes up from his dream dream as a dreamer also he sleeps no sai can i sai sai back please i don't agree with this i'm as a dreamer you sleep as a dreamer can you imagine sleeping as a dreamer yes. when the dreamer yes. wakes up as a dreamer is there no continuity to the dream it is there it is there so till so from a, in the context a, of the dream correct you are you are arguing within the state 
these people are talking beyond that state that is a difference this is the pun this is the the pun is on this line and this is this is what is going to answer the question the arguments you're giving is you're arguing within the state of your experience but the same thing can be is being repeated in the dream which you're not taking account of you're talking of switching of states are you with me sir just like the dreamer also wakes up and yes. sleeps in the dream he has 40 years of experience in the dream as a dreamer also every night he sleeps and wakes up when he sleeps and wake up there is also a continuity in the dream but the moment you leave the state then you say the same to be unreal isn't it exactly the same argument holds good for the waker as well so you should not see the waking world as any more real if you hold the argument then the dream world also should be real because one third percentage or more of your life how many hours do we actually sleep is there hari ji if you were to calculate let's say 60 years of a life span what does science say how many hours a human being sleeps in terms of years percentage uh, maybe sethraman ji will have a better idea of percentages 10 years only 10 years because it is years. you're saying you sleep let's say um, in a day if 24 hours if you sleep 8 hours so it is 1/3 so in 60 years 1/3 sorry not 10 years 20 years correct so 20 years of your life you are spending in a realm you do not know you have discounted that much of your solid life span and say that is unreal this is real on what on what basis is that how do you come to that conclusion in fact vedanta uses very strongly that un discussed the they many don't discuss this 20 years of your life they bank on that 20 years of a life and prove this 40 years also is exactly like a dream therefore they say remember ultimately you got to wake up to the reality which is the supreme self which is real but to answer your question you are switching states and saying dream doesn't last but if you hold on to that same continuity of the dream the dreamer also sleeps and wakes up the dreamer also has dream loans the dreamer also has a dream home the dreamer also has a dream problems the dreamer also has a dream family the dreamer also is vaccinated in the dream it is a life which is solidarity he also lives for 40 50 60 years examine the dream that way then you will realize you're switching from states and arguing within the state that state is real within that state that state is real but once you come out of that state the waking world also is not real the dream world also is not real the deep sleep also is not real and what is absolute reality is the supreme consciousness that is a fourth state now the even though the edge the waking world has an edge over the dream the waking world where does it count it has the capacity to put in effort we have the purushartha the other day we were mentioning you know you have the capacity to put in self effort the waker's intellect the the vasanas completely manifest is a full manifestation in fact sir if you look at it from the point of vasanas the whole three states are seemingly insignificant you know how do you explain the three states with reference to vasanas um but it's going to be difficult to answer not that you wouldn't know but i will spell it out please jot it down the three states are nothing but an expression of vasanas when the vasanas are not manifesting you are the deep sleeper when the vasanas are not manifesting you are the deep sleeper when the vasanas are partially manifesting you are the dreamer and when the vasanas are fully manifesting you are the waker so you are all these traits these three states are nothing but nothing but an expression of your vasanas man please understand that and vasanas is nothing but an expression of your ignorance of yourself 
vasanas is defined as expression of the ignorance of yourself so when this ignorance wipes off all the delusion and the experience, delusory experiences of these three states disappear and you realize the self the reality so the same thing you can argue from the point of view from the vasanas so it's just a play of vasanas i repeat when the vasanas are not manifesting you are the deep sleeper when the vasanas are partially manifesting you are the dreamer when the vasanas are fully blossoming you are the waker right it just convinces us that this is not real just go beyond it go beyond the vasanas right now one point which i wanted to tell in the concept of apprehension uh, non apprehension and misapprehension now the entire problem arises because of non apprehension you don't understand there is the reality we said reality is that which persists reality is brahman when you don't understand brahman as brahman there comes the misapprehensions as the world isn't it all right now where does this potential of not understanding come from the potential of not understanding brahman as brahman the potential of non apprehension jama simple question the question is the potential of non apprehension of brahman where does it come from are you guruji it comes from the existence of the reality itself it comes very good it comes from the existence of brahman itself which is a reality so the potential of non apprehension of brahman is there in the existence of brahman itself this is the only additional point i wanted to give one hour has gone by uh, the difficulty this con this this text is so difficult to convey hmm. ushama uk Namaste, Guruji. Namaskaram. Namaskaram, UK. So long ago. Can you please clarify what I just said? I want to make sure you understood. You just said that the potential of non-apprehension of Brahman comes from the existence of the Brahman in the reality. What do you understand of that? Hmm? That. Correct. That means in the. in the reality world you are not able to uh, experience or comprehend the brahman is it what you conveyed guru ji see the non up the three stages ill yeah first stage is apprehension second stage non apprehension third stage is misapprehension yes we are saying the second stage of non apprehension comes from the very first stage of the apprehension the existence of brahman itself okay so the existence of brahman has the potential of either apprehending or non apprehending so the potential of non apprehending comes from the brahman itself you may say sir why are we wondering all this i have enough problems on my head as i is saying my waking world is haunting me and your additional problem you are putting on my head why there where does this apprehension come how does it matter you solungo how does it matter to me huh? the answer to this question lies in the next mantra next verse huh? but all what you got to understand is if there was no rope lying there yeah. is it possible for you to mistake it to be a snake no definitely no isn't it if i have mistook it to be a snake it all happened because my wife left a rope there okay the rope there the rope 
the existence of the rope creates the possibility of not understanding it as a rope and then mistaking it as a snake so all the problem comes because a rope is there yeah. therefore all the problem we have got into now what's the problem we all have got into the reality the real you, world huh what is real world no <laughs> the ex existing world where we are uh, ah, existing the, the illusory world illusory. the world yeah, yeah. the world we are caught up in yes, which yes. is the real is yeah. in a real, in the sense you're saying this is the real world for yes. me now yeah. all yeah. this illusory world is maya has come because of the existence of the reality yeah so isn't it it comes yeah. from yeah. the very existence yeah okay yeah you got to take note of this point and that completes the concept yeah. yes Guruji. so the confusion is complete yeah. my job is done we'll move on to the next mantra because that's when i am contented i can't leave you confused midway complete confusion is good i've done my job huh why then adanji so what is your level of confusion total total appa you are the correct student i have got no you are in the same state what the guru wants to achieve you ach i have achieved that uh? <laughs> so lungo no it's it's clear i mean if, like that very good example of the rope is very good if there was no rope you would have no problem at all <laughs> it is the existence of the rope created all the confusion snake and everything same thing with if there was no brahman there's no question of maya at all we would all be very happy living peacefully saying this is the end in itself but because there exists brahman this whole concept of maya and the dissatisfaction the non permanent nature of this illusory world everything comes into play correct so but then having got into the problem what's the solution uh uh, is to eliminate the ignorance that's that's the only thing to get knowledge brahman apprehend Com brahman comprehend brahman yes comprehend realize that truth once you yeah. realize the truth all the illusory problem the delusion disappears isn't it yes it only should enthuse us to embark on this journey to embrace this wisdom isn't it true all right We attempt shall continue. Embrace. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, attempt to embrace this wisdom. Attempt, absolutely. No, the every attempt right now you're embracing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, right. So.